What? You break it? Why? You know, isolation is the only path forward. <sighs> it was just one joke. You no, know, sort of the same principle as how when you put people in jail for small non-violent crimes, they usually come out cured and also less racist. So right now we're trying to contact his landlord, have him evicted here. If it, where am I supposed to live? Do you want to cure your problematic thinking or not? Yes. Yes. Okay, this always works. Or so I've been told. I mean, I kind of just usually move on to the next patient. I'm pissed off, if anything. Nobody's answering my questions. Oh, yes, his questions. March 3rd, in a private chat, he said, is it possible there's less women engineers because women don't want to be engineers? Sorry, can someone tell me why that's such a crazy question to ask? Also, Assistant. how did you get access to that? You know, can we get the payment processors on the phone? Has your urge to question everything subsided a little bit? <sighs> Not really. I mean, I I just was wondering, like, with women's sports, like... Well, I'm surprised Ryan Long didn't demonstrate the um, prostate exam in this video. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Ogrodowski of WeAreChange.org. As you already know, lots of utter insane lunacy unfolding on the American-Mexican border right now as we are speaking. And that's why in this video, we're going to be expanding on this and documenting the bigger reasons why this is happening from neither a left or right perspective that's important for a lot of people to understand. Stand. Before we get into that, plus a lot more, the short clip that we began today's broadcast with is, of course, by Ryan Long. If you want to watch his full video, the link to it will be in our description. He's one of the few comedians that isn't afraid to be canceled, and his work highlighting the insanity of our current society... I think is very important. As of course, the top echelons in our society when it comes to media, entertainment, music, you name it, keep in pushing this kind of insane narrative that is not only becoming more and more deranged, but also becoming more and more aggressive against a specific group of people and their DNA variant. This, of course, perfectly obfuscates the reality of our current situation, which highlights how we're being ruled by the very few that are robbing us blind. Yeah, but, but don't worry about that. Look, there's this huge specific group of people that you could blame for all your problems because of the way that they were born. That's pretty much what's happening in our society right now. It's stupid and it deserves to be called out. And as independent media, we hope to do that by calling out some of the larger hypocrisies that are exemplified within our ruling establishment elite billionaire class that will do and say anything to get ahead as recently as perfectly exemplified by the latest news coming from the Joe Biden administration that admittedly fired its own staffers from using a substance that many states allow people to use for medical purposes. Which, uh, let's just be honest, it, it's it's pretty hilarious and hypocritical at the same time, especially when you look at this issue previously being pushed on by Kamala Harris, and also the fact of Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, who, um, let's just say, doesn't have the cleanest of records when it comes to substance abuse. And I think this meme uh, portrays the situation extremely accurately from a ruthless presidency that is creating havoc and pain for the American people. In related news, we also now have the border crisis, which has been fomented and created by the Biden administration and his absolutely horrible policies that will be continuing to create a bigger crisis on the border that we're going to be getting into in just a little bit, especially after the latest Project Veritas videos and photos that came out from inside of the border facilities that are extremely eye-opening to say the least. Now for full transparency, we did previously work with Project Veritas on a previous project, but we ourselves are our own independent media organization that is fully demonetized. And because of that, we started to work with companies that I personally like, that I personally use, and one of them that I've been using for a number of years now is Safe Prepare and ready.com the link to them is down in the description below click on the link right now to check them out and to see the amazing products that they have that you never know if you might need to use they have really good premium storable food that will last you close to 30 years I use them on my hiking trips. I have some in the back of my car just in case. I like them. I use them. Yes, you can have a bag of rice and beans, but if you're looking for some premium products that last you a very long time, check out safepreparedandready.com. Your purchases, of course, go towards supporting this independent media broadcast at the same time. And also, it feels good to be 
prepared rather than not. So yeah, just check out the link. Now, previously covering the situation on the U.S.-Mexican border, I think it's very fair to say that the situation is extremely complex. It's not very simple. It can't really be put in terms of left or right. It, it, and it, it, there's so many complexities to this issue, but I think it's absolutely fair to say that what the Biden administration has done has been absolutely horrendous and horrible for the people right now on the U.S.-Mexican border. Some of the images and photos that are released show situations that are, of course, are worse off than many American prisons when many people are forced into these plastic-like structures given emergency blankets after, of course, crossing the border, working with most likely human traffickers and smugglers that they had to pay off. And essentially, they're just being thrown into these cages where there's a lot of reports of, of, of abuse, of, of assaults happening, especially to women, especially to children down there. All, of course, after major policy changes by the Biden administration that created this situation. Now, these photos are, are very eye-opening. The situations are terrible here. And this is something that the Biden administration wanted to continue to hide from the American people. This is why Joe Biden refused to go down to the border to keep an eye on the situation. He was not there, refused to go down there. He denied lawyers and journalists access to this facility until finally someone brave within this government decided to document and take photos of the situation that's unfolding there that is absolutely disastrous and will only continue to be more disastrous from here. Now, of course, other people like former U.S. President Donald Trump are taking advantage of this situation for political brownie points. He has called what has happened on the border a huge cover-up, and in many instances, he is absolutely correct. Since the Biden administration was trying to hide the true nature of what was happening down at the border, we also have to acknowledge that Joe Biden did end a specific policy that forced many of the migrants to remain in Mexico as they waited for their asylum hearings. Under the Donald Trump presidency, if a person wanted to enter the United States for asylum as a refugee, they would be able to plead their case to enter the United States in front of a judge but they would have to wait inside of Mexico in order to do so. Joe Biden ended that policy, and because of that, hundreds of refugees and economic migrants started crossing into the U.S. border. And Biden's response to that was, put them all in cages even the children, even though that there's a record amount of them, even though that the facilities are overflowing, even though children go without bats or seeing the sun for a number of days, doesn't matter. End that policy so they can't be somewhere safe in Mexico. They have to be in what is essentially a prison awaiting their hearing with, of course, a judge. And we have to acknowledge here this huge influx on the border happened because of Biden's specific policy ending Trump's policy. This is true here. He is directly responsible for the huge surge on the border, and many migrants even admit this. We used to watch the, the news, and uh, I definitely won't do this. So did you come here because Joe Biden was elected president? Basically. Basically. Uh, the main thing was the violence in my country. And the second thing, uh, I think, was Joe Biden. It's also important to note here that during a presidential debate, Joe Biden publicly invited people to come into the United States to seek asylum, openly invited people to come through the border, and now he's telling them, do not come, the border is closed, essentially telling everyone, nope, do not come to the United States, even though I just invited you to come to the United States. This is a mess, and this is creating widespread havoc, not just on the United States, but a lot of these migrants that are forced in, in, into prisons. But more specifically, it also is increasing a huge wave of violence and the promotion of criminal enterprises on the U.S.-Mexican border that are making money more than they ever have. This has come to a head where even 
even many Mexican government officials are telling the U.S. government to stop these egregious actions. Even recently, a Democratic Texas mayor came out against the U.S. president and said what the president is doing is, quote, a breach of national security not seen before in modern history, as his small town is being swamped by migrants, while, of course, he accuses the president of absolutely doing nothing. And he's detailing how he is struggling to house them, and more and more migrants keep coming into the United States and will continue to be coming into the United States as it's also being announced and reported by NBC News that many migrants are being let go before given a, even a court date to plead their case for asylum and residency inside of the United States. Yes. NBC News is reporting that the borders are officially open and people because of this huge influx are just being allowed in into the United States without paperwork, without documentation, without even a court hearing to be given a pathway to citizenship. The borders are wide open right now, and this news is only going to spur a criminal enterprise that will take advantage of this situation. Many people in Latin America will hear this news, and there will be more of a bigger surge on the U.S. border because of this happening right now. It only makes common sense. I've been reporting on this for a number of years now, especially on the ground in Tijuana. The more you allow people in, the more people will come in and will start to continue to build up on the border, which of course is fueling some of the worst enterprises on the face of this earth. Human smuggling, human trafficking has gone up dramatically, especially amongst small children, as some Mexican criminal enterprises are saying that people are the new dope. As the Daily Mail reports that Mexican cartels are seizing on Biden's lax border policies to run a multi-million dollar human trafficking scheme and are using families as decoys to smuggle and drugs into the United States. Now, personally, I think the war on drugs is absolutely idiotic and stupid, but it's another stupid government policy that is incentivizing some of the worst actions on the face of this earth. And if we're going to punish drug traffickers, we should be punishing the CIA first. And until we do that, I believe all of the laws are unjust and absolutely counterproductive and are creating havoc, just like previous prohibition efforts did. But we have to understand here what a larger context many Mexicans entering into the United States have to pay a hefty fine. Chinese immigrants, Middle Eastern immigrants, and Russian immigrants have to pay even a st stiffer fine. All of this is of course incentivized even more by Biden ending Trump's policies and now keeping the borders wide open or spending 86 million dollars of, of, of American taxpayer money on hotel rooms, which again is only going to spur more and more people to come into the United States, create more and more of a crisis, which let's be honest here, many Democrats are seeing as a great opportunity in order to get more voters that will vote for them in the United States. And many corporatist globalists are seeing this as a great opportunity to lower working wages, have more cheap labor that is akin to slavery without any documentation. And this is a win-win for the criminal organizations that are not just on the border. This is an utter disaster. There's massive havoc. There's massive pain. There's massive suffering. But for the Democrats and for all the multinational corporations extorting and benefiting off of this, this is good business for them, and it should be seen exactly as so. These people are not humanitarians. These people don't care. They will do anything for power. And this is why we have such a tremendous amount of human suffering on the border, which, of course, now many prominent politicians that were screaming about it before are deciding to look the other way. Expect this situation to get a lot worse, not only on small border towns, but all throughout the United States. Expect your wages to go down. Expect to be a mass influx of people on the border. And why is this all happening? Well, the people in our government value power over, of course, human life. And that's the truth that you usually won't hear on the mainstream media. You do hear a lot of divisive left-right nonsense, but in the true reality sense, we should be judging situations on the amount of pain and suffering that is created to everyone. And I think it's very fair to say that they have 
done it already on such a huge amount that it is absolutely criminal that's my opinion how do we fix this problem well that's far more of a complicated answer than i could give in just a few seconds at the end of this video but for right now to start the conversation what do you think could be a potential solution let me know down in the comment section below i always appreciate the conversation the dialogue the constructive criticism because i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you i'm going to be making another exclusive video right now on luke uncensored Com. Stay tuned for that for later today. I love you guys. Wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.